All right, guys, it is Luis from 24-7, and today we are going to be installing True Terrain 5.1, and this is going to work for Blender 4.4 all the way down to Blender 4.2. So the first thing we need to do is locate that purchase inside of our Super Hive Market Orders, and we're going to look down, and as you see in that drop-down, we are able to download and install 5.0.4 all the way up to 5.1.1, but we're going to go with 5.1 as this is the most stable of the versions that we can get right now. This should work for 4.2 up. So once we have that clicked, we need to go ahead and select all of the files from the height maps all the way up to the True Terrain 5.1.0 zip. And we need to go ahead and download all of those files. And once we have those downloaded, what we're gonna do is locate them and we are going to set up a couple folders here that is going to allow us to get a smooth install. So we should have six total files to go ahead and install. If you definitely have the base version of True Terrain and not any of the legacy pack. So let's go ahead and create a folder entitled True Terrain 5 Files. And then let's do a new folder entitled True. Uh, let's do True T5. So let's go ahead and open up the True Terrain 5 Files. And we are going to go ahead and place in those downloaded folders that we just got. And we're going to place those inside the True Terrain 5 Files. And once you've done that, give it a second just to complete and that will vary on your system. And once we have that done, let's go ahead and head on into Blender and let's get this add-on set up. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and install this like we would any other add-on. So let's just go ahead to our drop-down install from disk, of course. And we're gonna locate that folder, True Terrain 5 Files. And as you see there, we have the add-on. That's located there. As you see, it is installed, True Terrain. And there is a guide that we can go ahead and go through, which will give you a little bit of a uh, tour all around the inside of the preferences for the add-on, but we're gonna go ahead and skip that guide, click OK. And what we need to do here is we need to set up the asset path for all of our true terrain assets or anything that we change into a true terrain asset. So let's go ahead and uh, save our preferences. I highly suggest enlarging your preferences viewport to as large as possible for this portion. And as you can see, we have the ability to also install our updates, but let's head on over here to the asset path portion. And as you can see, we have a couple options here. We have import path, but we want to click the folder here so we can change our asset path. And we're going to set this to our true T5 files. There you are. And we are just going to go ahead and change the asset path here. Let me give it a second and we can go ahead and reset up asset browser if you want to, but also do this at the end. So we're gonna go ahead and go to import pack. And once we have clicked import pack, we need to locate those other files that came with our main zip download. And that's going to be in our true T5 files. And as you can see, you should be able to go ahead and select them all. But as I have tried multiple times, I could not get to install them all at once this way. So go ahead and install them one by one. And when you go ahead and install them, the way you know that this is working is you will see a blue progress bar filling up as you are installing each one of these packs. So we'll just go ahead and we'll just locate that again and do this one by one. And we'll start with the first one there, import. And as you can see, we have the blue progress bar there, allowing us to know what kind of time that we have left. And this will vary based on your system. And once we have one of those done, we just basically go ahead and repeat that and clear out each one of those files that we have downloaded. And if you have installed a legacy pack, this will be the same steps to follow for that. And if you do want to install any of the updates, if you have installed 5.0, head on over to that install add-on, relocate the new files, and it's a simple click there. So we're just gonna go ahead and repeat that for all of them and then we'll get back to it. And once you've made your way through all of those files that we have downloaded, we can simply close down Blender, restart it, and then we're going to go ahead and open up our true VFX panel. And that's going to be inside of our end panel here. And if we have a look down here, as you see true VFX and you should see true terrain five, and we're gonna go ahead and click create terrain and this will go ahead and pop us up a nice little terrain here is we go ahead and select the preset here really quickly. And we're just gonna go ahead and just select any of these. But as you see, our presets are also showing, so that means we have this installed correctly. And there you are. So that's it for this one. Please make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button and click that notification bell to stay up to date with all of our tutorials on Blender and some more of these videos on True Terrain. And as always, until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.